What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about Amazon's gaming console that's coming out. That's right, just in case you didn't know. Amazon has, is buying up video game development studios as well as working on their own in-house video game console that is Android based. So I'm getting a vis visualization of something like the Ouya, but hopefully they learn from the mistakes of the Ouya and are able to create a home gaming console that's worth its weight. Now, I think that the uh, Android gaming community is pretty decent on phones. I'm not going to sit and pretend like I don't play Android games on my Sony Xperia Z1S, but, uh, you know, I'm more of a console gamer or an actual dedicated handheld gamer, so I'd much rather play on my Vita, my 3DS, my DS than on my phone. I'd much rather do that, and I'd much rather play on my PS3, my PS4, my Xbox 360, or, you know, my GameCube, my Wii, than I would on my phone. My phone is something that I play with when I'm, you know, away from the house. I want to just do something that's going to pass the time and usually it works out. Some of these Android games are really great. Some of them are crap like we all know. Some of them are just mindless addictiveness like Flappy Bird, the game that has my whole family retarded at the moment. But Amazon is looking to capitalize on this market nonetheless. Now Amazon has a lot of money They've got a great strategy as far as releasing the games, and I think it could work out very well if they learn from the mistakes of Ouya. This article, guys, is on GameSpot.com. It appears that uh, Amazon's first controller for their their home console has been leaked. A leak link will be in the description, so you guys check it out. Let me know what you think. Honestly, from my perspective, it's not too attractive, but who knows? It could actually feel attractive. It just seems so hard edged, and uh, you know, you guys will see what I mean once you look at the image. But the article reads. First images of Amazon's game controller appear. What do you think? Take a look at what we believe is a controller for Amazon's rumored set-top box. The first images of the controller for Amazon's rumored set-top box have appeared, and the device looks a lot like a mashup of the Xbox One and the OnLive controllers. OnLive was the the download digital-only game service that went under. What do you think? The images come by the way of noted blogger Dave Katz, Z Dave Zatz. I'm sorry, via. TechCrunch, who scooped them from an overseas regulatory agency, he says. As you can see in the images, Amazon's wireless Bluetooth controller sports standard controller options like A, B, X, and Y buttons, shoulder and trigger pads, as well as media playback button. You'll also notice Android-style icons for the home, menu, and back, and a central button that will presumably connect you to Amazon's Game Circle service. The streaming device is believed to run on a modified version of Android. According to a report from last month, Amazon will launch this rumored set-top box in March and possibly for under $300. It will report reportedly compete directly with Apple TV and Roku products and that you'll be able to easily access video content through your TV. It was previously unclear in the rumored Xbox, I mean, if, if the rumored box would support gaming, but that is now looking very likely with the emergence of the, control, the controller images. Amazon has increased its gaming-related hiring of late and even acquired Killer Instinct and Strider developer Double Helix, Double Helix for an undisclosed sum last uh, last month. You guys let me know what you think about that. Uh, the controller looks like it might not be as comfortable as some of the controllers are out now, but hey, it's their first time out of the gate. They have their own service, their own streaming service. They have a great way of getting these things to you right through your computer, so it's really a win-win for Amazon. And uh, who knows, it could be a whole new gaming media for all of us. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.